everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I'm going to have to do voiceover. We have a lot of construction going on outside. So I just wanted to say hi and let's get started. Okay, this is going to be a fun experiment. We've got some golden teal we just put down. We have some ultramarine blue by Creative Inspirations and some Payne's Gray by Creative Inspirations. Just those three colors. And the interesting part of this is that the teal is mixed like a bloom paint. So I didn't put a lot on, you can see, because I am gonna use that, I think, as part of the stems. The other two paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. So you're gonna have two and a half parts Floetrol, one part paint, and probably a half a part water. And I'm also swiping with a cell activator. I am actually using Artist Loft um, and Australian Floetrol, and it was a three to one, and I'm swiping with the Floetrol. Um, excuse me, with the cell activator. So in my actual base for the teal paint is going to be my triple thick and it's going to be my Velspar. And 50-50, um, I mix those together and then I added it to the teal paint. So this is kind of a halfway bloom um, using one bloom mix paint and then the... Um, cell activator as my swipe. Wait till you see the end result. Something really cool happened when I use this. So now I'm going through, I'm using these same colors. Um, I did decide when I was blowing it out to take some of that ultramarine blue in a cup and add just a tiny bit of um, Australian Floetrol. Remember the teal here already has the Australian Floetrol in it. So it's it's just an experiment to see what kind of flowers we can get. And, um, you know, I can see where, you see how it shrunk back in? That's kind of what happens when I use house paint um, when I'm trying to do the flower pot. You can see even the teal um, where I'm going to connect the stem, it kind of sank back in as well, but that's okay because these flowers at the end are just so wispy and there's something that happened in the base. I'd love for someone to tell me why it happened. It just looked amazing. So you can see the blue in the bottom um, right corner. I love that in real life. And it's got like a, a fog or a ghost going through underneath um, the cell activator. I thought that was really cool. You can see it right there. The glare is so bad. We all know that with black. So I am going to continue to blow out these flowers and try to get them to hold their shape. But again, um, using half of the bloom and keeping some of the Floetrol, it worked out great. I can't wait to show you the end results. So let's blow out some of these flowers and I will check back with you here shortly.
Okay, so I'm gonna go through with some um, of the teal paint and kind of separate the petals a little bit and see if I can um, get a little bit more of a reaction in these flowers. But I don't think you can see really, now you can. Here's the close up. Look at the back. Do you see the little dots showing through? Look at that fog and ghostly look. And the flowers, again, they look kind of like they're transparent. Look at that one, I love it. And then the dots. If anyone knows why that happened, again, one bloom paint, then the cell activator was my swipe. And look how it turned out. The dried results are just stunning. Um, here, here it is. Um, beautiful. I love it. Okay, let me know what you think about this very, very cool outcome doing half of bloom paints. I would love to hear your comments. Please hit the like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, Starlight. I appreciate each and every one of you for following me on this journey. Take care, everyone. Till next time.